they just passed the brave pills around. Everybody swallowed half a dozen of those. So we think the AP they're all dropped. braved up. So hey? I think well, I think the AP is dropped. So he's made it. Gary's made a, uh -huh. the decision. We're in sequence. So some of these guys are going to want to right the boats as fast as they can. But you'd have to guess that probably more than half the fleet will be upside down when the start of the gun goes. Yeah, yeah. And it's... we'll see how many, as you were saying earlier on, Bob, how many capsizes will the winner have. Skipper's uh, super brave, he's going to lock himself in, so it's a three-string attack yeah, of the... He didn't, uh, he didn't find his foot strap there, you'll notice him, uh, he's found it now, he'll want to be locked in there, he's got a bit of got a bit of breeze now. All three locked in, biggest issue is trying for the helmsman to try and stay in position, we've seen a couple of them nosedive and the helmsman falls forward, twists around and wipes out his crew. I'm pretty sure this is Evan Walker too, Mark, uh, Evan's a very accomplished match racer while he's not showing off in these things, so uh, he won a regatta. Well, full air ball there, really a lot of air here. We might struggle to keep up with him and do our best. Noise. Huge loads. But not a lot of the boat in the water right now, which I guess is good, but uh, it's the coming down bit that uh, causes the problem. The deceleration puts a massive load on the hull and the rig. Good work at the moment from all three. You see them all really locked together, trying to stay as one.
à bord de BT, euh, un vent qui oscille entre 35 et jusqu'à 59 nœuds. C'est pas un temps à mettre un Jojo et un Jeff sur le pont. Des images qui parlent d'elles-mêmes. Dans la matinée de vendredi, l'équipage de BT a déclenché sa balise de détresse. Roof arraché et un bateau qui... Oh, Frank Kamas is in trouble, bow down. We'll look anxiously over the back, but there's no way back for Kamas and his crew. He's holding on, but BMW Oracle Racing are over. Oh, there's a big gust there. Look at the gust has come from nowhere. It's a Lingy that's going to go over. The America's Cup defenders there. Well, I don't know where this squall has come from. You can see the conditions. Et soudain, ce sont les premiers mots d'Yves Le Blévec après son chavirage. Dimanche soir, vers 19h, soit tout juste quelques heures après le départ donné du Havre, actuel, le trimaran 50 pieds enfourne et se retourne à 22 000 au nord de Cherbourg. Les deux marins sont sains et saufs, mais les dégâts sont là. Tu vois, hyper, hyper rapide, j'ai jamais vu ça. Team Origin are nearly, yes they are, they're over Look at that, just suspended in mid-air. Any windier than this, and you really would lose the top off your pizza, that's for sure. Uh.